Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on a September 14th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update here for you, as our sun just did produce a very large X-class solar flare, X4.5 solar flare from that incoming sunspot region I've been warning about all week. These are the active regions right now. We had eight sunspots Earth-facing two days ago, and we have now another large sunspot grouping turning in that just produced an X-class solar flare. So heads up, my friends and family, we're already going through quite a geomagnetic event. Solar winds were upward of over 500 kilometers per second. Having a look at these amazing images of our sun, the past two days of events, Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for watching and pressing play and as well, all of the love and support. Large plasma shot from that sunspot region just before the X-class solar flare. But during the X-class solar flare, it did produce a coronal mass ejection as well as a large plasma filament, as you can see, quickly shooting away from the surface right there amazing images earth facing x-class solar flare instantly putting us into r3 radio blackout impacts those are the large coronal hole regions that have helped increase our solar winds looking at multi-spectrum here this is the last two days of imagery active region outgoing and incoming Boom, X-Class, second strongest solar flare this year. Very interesting start to solar cycle 25, which is and will be a maximum for 11 years. We're going through some unprecedented times, my friends and family. And our planet is feeling the effects. And every living organism on our planet is feeling the effects, absorbing the new frequencies, becoming a new, and hopefully adapting to our new climates brought to you by our solar cycles. X class solar flare. Current space weather conditions, as I said, R3 radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds coming in right now at 532 kilometers per second. Super fast solar winds. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see there, big X 4.5 solar flare. Instantly putting us into our three radio blackouts. Solar proton flux slightly increasing and geomagnetic activity heightened at a 3.5 after being up at a 6 yesterday. Having a look here, ESPA Space Prediction Spiral, they have updated here new CME models. Little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth. Yellow circle in the center there is the Sun producing the coronal mass ejections. Leaving the Sun on the 13th, looks like it'll be impacting us on the 15th. So tomorrow night, we can expect geomagnetic instability and as well, Aurora Borealis, both northern and southern poles. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral here, outgoing CME. That was before the X-Class solar flare. And here is that large CME model from the most recent large solar flare. If you enjoy all these updates and information shared here with Daily Events Worldwide, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Maybe share with a friend or family member who might actually enjoy all of this information, staying aware and prepared. Having a look at LASCO 2 and the last two days of coronal mass ejections, cosmic energies leaving our sun, Earth facing coronal mass ejections, and solar flares. Heads up, everybody. Please stay tuned for the next video coming from Daily Events Worldwide. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared.
amazing images here. Lasco 2 and 3 of the most recent solar flare and coronal mass ejection. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from and what you like the most about this channel. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now.